हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस क्वेश्चन इज टेकन फ्रॉम टेस्ट सीरीज फाइव डबल ई फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट पावर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स फ्रॉम द टॉपिक इन्वर्टर्स द गिवन क्वेश्चन इट इज ऑफ लिंक डेटा क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट विल सॉल्व द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन दैट इज द आउटपुट वोल्टेज ऑफ ए सिंगल फेस फुल ब्रिज इन्वर्टर इज कंट्रोल्ड बाई पल्स विथ मॉड्यूलेशन विथ हैविंग वन पल्स पर हाफ साइकिल विच इज नथिंग बट इट इज हैविंग वन पल्स दैट इज फॉर हाफ साइकिल For full cycle, it is having the two pulse, which is nothing but given to D is the pulse width. We have to find the value of fifth harmonic can be eliminated. Pulse width is equal to if for the fifth harmonic is eliminated, we have to find the value of pulse width that is two D is equal to how much? In order to find that value. First, we'll calculate the value of the output voltage for a single phase bridge inverter for given control pulse width modulation is equal to is given as that is 4 Vs by n pi psi n d is equal to zero. From this, we can calculate the value of that is pulse width that is d. From here, psi n d is equal to complete zero. From here, sin n d is becomes sin inverse of zero, which is nothing but pi. In order to calculate the value of pulse width, that is d is equal to pi by n. We have to find the value of for one pulse per half cycle. For full cycle, it should be equal to the two d. That is two d is equal to two into d is nothing but pi by n. We have to find the value of if fifth harmonic can be eliminated. Find the pulse width. So. The value of n should be phi for the fifth harmonic is eliminated. The 2d is equal to 2 into pi by phi. After solving this value, we'll get the value of 2d is 72 degrees, which is the pulse width with phi, fifth harmonic is eliminated, which is nothing but option B. Option B. In this session, we have studied about how to calculate the value of pulse width when Fifth harmonic is eliminated. Thank you.